AND SO I WAS SHARING YESTERDAY THAT I TOOK THESE SCRIPTURES AND MEDITATED ON THEM. LET ME SHOW YOU THIS OUT OF PSALMS CHAPTER 1. IT SAYS IN VERSE 1, BLESSED IS THE MAN THAT WALKETH NOT IN THE COUNSEL OF THE UNGODLY, NOR STANDETH IN THE WAY OF SINNERS, NOR SITTETH IN THE SEAT OF THE SCORNFUL, BUT HIS DELIGHT IS IN THE LAW OF THE LORD, AND IN HIS LAW DOTH HE MEDITATE DAY AND NIGHT. THIS RIGHT HERE SAYS WE HAVE TO MEDITATE DAY AND NIGHT IN THE WORD OF GOD. AND WHAT'S THE RESULTS IF WE DO THAT? IN VERSE 3, IT SAYS, HE SHALL BE LIKE A TREE PLANTED BY THE RIVERS OF WATER THAT BRINGETH FORTH HIS FRUIT IN HIS SEASON. HIS LEAF ALSO SHALL NOT WITHER, AND WHATSOEVER HE DOETH SHALL PROSPER. YOU KNOW, IT'S USING THIS ANALOGY THAT IF YOU HAVE A TREE THAT'S PLANTED BY A RIVER, WELL, THEN WHEN A DROUGHT HITS, THE TREE CONTINUES TO GO AHEAD AND HAVE ITS NOURISHMENT BECAUSE ITS ROOTS GO DOWN AND IT DRAWS NOURISHMENT FROM THE LAND AROUND THAT RIVER. AND SO THIS IS JUST SAYING THAT YOU'LL BE FRUITFUL, THAT YOU WON'T GO THROUGH THESE DRY SPELLS. YOU WON'T BE UP AND DOWN LIKE A YO-YO LIKE EVERYBODY ELSE. BUT IT'S ALL DEPENDENT UPON DELIGHTING YOURSELF IN THE LORD AND MEDITATING IN HIS WORD DAY AND NIGHT. A SCRIPTURE THAT GOES ALONG WITH THIS IS JOSHUA CHAPTER 1, VERSE 8, WHERE IT SAYS, THIS BOOK OF THE LAW SHALL NOT DEPART OUT OF YOUR MOUTH, BUT YOU SHALL MEDITATE THEREIN DAY AND NIGHT THAT YOU MAY OBSERVE TO DO ACCORDING TO ALL THAT IS WRITTEN THEREIN. FOR THEN, WHEN YOU'VE MEDITATED IN THE WORD DAY AND NIGHT, THEN YOU WILL MAKE YOUR WAY PROSPEROUS, AND THEN YOU WILL HAVE GOOD SUCCESS. BUT IN BOTH OF THESE PASSAGES OF SCRIPTURE THAT IS PROMISING PROSPERITY AND SUCCESS, AND NOT EVER GOING THROUGH A DROUGHT, BEING ABLE TO GO, uh, STILL DRAW NOURISHMENT WHILE EVERYBODY ELSE IS LANGUISHING, IT'S ALL DEPENDENT UPON YOU MEDITATING IN THE WORD. SO WHAT DOES IT MEAN TO MEDITATE? GO DOWN INTO PSALMS CHAPTER 2 AND VERSE 1, AND THAT VERSE SAYS, WHY DO THE HEATHEN RAGE AND THE PEOPLE IMAGINE A VAIN THING? DID YOU KNOW THAT THE EXACT WORD THAT WAS TRANSLATED IMAGINE IN PSALMS CHAPTER 2 VERSE 1 IS THE EXACT SAME HEBREW WORD THAT IS TRANSLATED MEDITATE IN PSALMS CHAPTER 1, VERSE 2. SO PUT THIS TOGETHER AND HERE'S WHAT YOU COME UP WITH, THAT WHEN YOU MEDITATE IN THE WORD, WHAT YOU ARE DOING IS IMAGINING THIS WORD. YOU'RE SEEING IT COME TO PASS. IT'S ONE THING TO HEAR THAT BY THE STRIPES OF JESUS YOU'VE BEEN HEALED, BUT HAVE YOU SEEN YOURSELF HEALED? IT'S ONE THING TO A TO HEAR THE WORDS THAT THE WORKS THAT I DID SHALL YOU DO ALSO, AND GREATER WORKS THAN THESE SHALL YOU DO, IN JOHN CHAPTER 14, VERSE 12. BUT IT'S ANOTHER THING TO MEDITATE IN IT TO THE POINT THAT YOU SEE YOURSELF DOING THOSE THINGS. MAN, I PRAY THAT YOU UNDERSTAND WHAT I'M SAYING. 